Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. Hey, I want to get into a story I saw just ran across. Uh, thought it'd be interesting because I would like to know what women in particular, what 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 is your take on this particular article? It's from the Daily Mail. And the title of it reads, I quit my job as a teacher to become a stay-at-home girlfriend at 28. And I love spending my days cooking my boyfriend's meals and cleaning. Now, first, a lot of things to unwrap just with the title alone. One, she's a girlfriend, <clears throat> not a wife, not a fiance. A girlfriend, stay at home girlfriend. A lot of y'all might think, man, gotta be crazy moving in with a girl, knowing a woman ain't married, and second and third. But I know a lot of you females out there who have moved in with a guy, not married, not trying to get married. Neither one of y'all have anything, <clears throat> and y'all are just happy to be together. So y'all can just. Lay around, do nothing, smoke and drink, <clears throat> get on each other's nerves, work your butts off. No one's trying to do, you know, not trying to improve your lives, stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, I'm talking about y'all, not everybody, but some people. So I don't think you really would have anything to say about this. She's 28. So she's still fairly young, but getting close to what a lot of men call the wall once you get into, you know, your 30s. 40s, you know, your, your options, the older you get, your options get narrower. So she's at that borderline of still being able to pick the guy she wants, right? And then she says she loves spending her day cooking, <coughs> excuse me, Ooh. cooking her boyfriend's meals and cleaning. She says she, she enjoys it. Now, think on that for a minute, because when I read, you're going to see there, there, there's there's something missing in that, because y'all probably can't understand how she feels that, feels that way, but I'll tell you shortly why she's able to feel like that. <clears throat> it says a woman has revealed how she quit her job as a teacher to become a stay-at-home girlfriend at 28, just five months after she met her Love Island boyfriend. Again, I've seen people move in together within a matter of weeks or a couple of months, you know? So I'm not going to trip on that. That's what they want to do is what you want to do. Summer Hawking, now, mind you, when you look at the picture, you'll see, you know, you'll see what they are. It's a brother and it's a, it's a snow bunny. Summer Hawkins, 28, was living in Bristol when she first connected with her partner, Biggs Marvin Chris, who appears on the ITV dating series in 2020 on social media last year. Speaking to the mirror, Summer explained how she was working as a primary school teacher at the time and barely had any disposable income once she had paid her rent. So now, number one, uh, as you can see, she was broke, right? A woman, broke. No woman, I don't care who you are or what you wanna try to make us believe, no woman wants to get out there working their butts off working hard and struggling to pay bills. Nobody. If you ask me, I think if you ask many women to be truthful, they want to be kept women. Especially if they live long enough and struggle long enough, they get tired of being out there, you know, get out there trying to be independent and strong. After chatting on social media, Summer and Biggs, 30, agreed to meet up in a nightclub with the reality star later revealing that he had sent a friend to check her out first to see if his future girlfriend was worth the effort. Now, <clears throat> that there is a uh, a good idea. Uh, I'm not really sure who he sent out, what his criteria was when he had when he had her uh, investigated. But that to me is something that a lot of guys and women need to do before y'all get into relationships. It'll cut out 
a lot of drama and bullcorn in your lives if you vet the process. Let me use a vetting process. You see somebody you like, they look nice, you want a date, you want to kick it, hang out. You just don't kick it with somebody just because they look nice or because they can tell jokes and make you laugh. You actually want to get to know this person, see they got a history, a legal history, they got any kids, were married before, you know, did they grow up in a you know, two family, a stable, two family household, I mean, two parent household, uh, where they go to school, hobbies, things of that nature. You need them. The more you know about a person, the better the less chances that you are to make a rash decision when finding someone to date. Now looking at this young lady, say you met on like with social media, so she's probably a quote unquote Instagram model. And the way it looks like, you know, she got lip filler, uh, you know, fake breasts, fake, you know, stuff like that. And he, I mean, he a brother with a bunch of tattoos. I mean, he looked like he could be a, he looked like he could be a square with tattoos. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but sisters, would y'all date a, a square who has tattoos? You know, at, 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 you know, at, at a young age. It says a couple of media hit it off and at, off and five months into the relationship, Biggs asked Summer to relocate to Glasgow to live with him, <clears throat> reassuring his girlfriend that he would always take care of her. Ladies, would you jump with the chance for a guy to take care of you? You ain't got to work no more. You, know, you don't want to school, got your degree, independent. You can pay your own bills, got your own house, you know, and you need a man who, who makes equal or more than you because you have a lifestyle. Well, undoubtedly, this girl didn't have a lifestyle because she said that she was barely paying bills. So she just looked up and found her. Well, let me, let me read along and I'll tell you what she found. Describing how every woman would be delighted by that offer, Summer quit her job shortly after, prompting her mother to compare her new life, prompting her mother to compare her new life to that of a 1950s housewife. I believe that's what we need to get back to. To women being housewives. I know that there's always been a push for women to go to school, go to work. Get a, get a career because you don't depend on no man. Nah. Well, again, if you can get in the vetting process and find you a man that's trying to do something. You know, I was reading stats about, like, me, stats on millionaires and how many millionaires there are and uh, <clears throat> the ratio, you know, in certain ages and, you know, uh, they said like 47% have degrees. Uh, they put it said like out of millionaires, 79% are married with one child. You know, so it's like the odds of of a woman finding a uh, uh, guy who make you know a million, make seven figures is very, very. It's hard. So. I'm thinking like, if you're gonna find a guy like that, you're gonna be with a guy. And you, if you find a dude like that, I mean, I would suggest you take that chance, take that leap. You know, who knows how it's going, who knows how it'll turn out, but you know, you gotta try something. But I do believe it should be back to, you know, where one income, you can pay your bills, take care of the house, because it's hard, man. It's hard, it's hard when you got two people in one house working five, six, seven days a week because now hey, you can have a degree, make six figures, and still need to have two jobs to live comfortable. It's crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, but that's the economy that we're in right now. It says giving an insight to her day-to-day -day, day -day routine summer, explain how she begins each day, each and every day, by making bigs a meal and turning on the shower so it's nice and hot for him when he's ready to jump in. Then I make him a hot chocolate and he tells me what he wants for breakfast. 
So I'm gonna say whatever he wants, he gets, whether it's chicken and rice and or egg sandwich. Now you probably say, oh man, he got this white girl and you know, she's just doing anything for me. She's using him for his money. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Real UGK, Pimp C had a song saying, just use me up. That's what, I mean, that's what men want women to do. You know, be there for him and he'll take care of you. Make his life easy. You know, he go out there and make money. Take care of his house. So Dallas, he already had his house. So he probably had a maid or someone to clean his house. Someone that may cook, have cooked for him anyway, you know, take care of his house. Now he has a woman that can do it. And he'll probably appreciate it more because his woman is taking care of him. So he has no problem doing things for her. That's what a lot of you women have to understand. It's a give and take. It's chances. Bottom line with relationships, man, you're just taking chances. And you just don't know how it's going to end. Yeah, it's a possibility that it may fail, but it's also a possibility that it may succeed. But you don't want, you would never know which is which or what will happen if you don't take chances. Only successful people, and they'll tell you, only successful people, only people who take chances become successful people. You got to get out there. You got to get out there. If it works, it works. If it don't, you know, say so you learn a lesson. But but no matter what, you put you put your effort into it to make it work. So that way, if it's over and done, you can say, hey, you did everything you could to make sure it worked and just didn't. Once he's eating, Biggs leaves the house for work, which varies between sponsored social media posts and renovating houses. So you see the man makes money, you no know, flipping houses with him. In the first half of the day, Summer, whose lifestyle is entirely funded by Biggs, says she gets stuck in the cleaning, tackling the living room, kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. By the time she's finished, Biggs, who normally calls ahead to ask what he wants to eat, wants to eat, has returned home for his lunch. The former teacher then uses the afternoon for errands, such as walking the dog and going to the gym. Now let's say she got her personal trainer, and who knows, maybe they hooking up. Um, you know, who who knows what she's doing, you know, at the gym or what have you. That's probably what you guys are saying. But the question is, is there a big issue with, I mean, I ain't gonna say there's a big issue with that, but what if she is? You know what I'm saying? If she is, do you think that she would risk losing it all for that? Now it's about a moral, you know, it's about a moral thing. Now. It's about how you, uh, cause you know, cause she gonna get, I'm gonna get to more part of the story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to other details later, but you know, eventually she's gonna get tired. You remember the story that I did other, uh, not too long ago about the lady who enjoyed drinking coffee with her husband in the morning, and they make, you know, a decent amount of money, and people got all upset because she put that post out because they life is miserable. But one of the things that about her story, which is like this story, is they're young. The younger the relationship. And new relationships are always great. There's always no problem. But as time goes on, <sighs> little problems will become big problems. You have to work things out. You have to argue and fuss. And, you know, and figure out how to take care of, now, you know, as years go on, the smallest thing become the most, you know, the most trivial, the most trivial thing become turns to big things and they shouldn't just because it's just you're just comfortable and so comfortable around each other you don't care how you talk to each other you don't care how you treat each other it's just like it is what it is but you got to learn how to work through it so I'm, I'll be interested to see how this goes like you know in the next five ten years you feel me uh the former teacher didn't use that new rock wearing errands to see uh once every three weeks, Summer gets her nails professionally done at a local salon and squeezes in an occasional sunbed session too. As she no longer works, Summer says she doesn't have a single stress in her life. That is the, uh, which allows her to focus on spending quality time with Biggs in the evening. This is a statement from a young lady with no kids. Period. I can end the video on that. And I know there will be a million women that will agree with me. Men too. When it's just you and you're young, you got all this energy, 
you probably punching every day, two, three times a day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> probably sat, you know, satisfying your man whenever he wants. <clears throat> You're doing everything he wants you to do. You're doing everything you want him to do because it's just the two of y'all. Once them cheering comes into, come into place, come into play, one, two, three of them, oh, the rules change. Things change. Now everything that you did that was cute, I can't stand it. If you don't believe me, ask those of us who have, have been married or had children and raised children. Don't get me wrong, children are great. I mean, they are, I mean, they, they're great. They're, they're a blessing from the most high, but they, they, I mean, but they, it is a job. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a job. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a fulfilling job, but it's a job. It's work. And so you, that, that time that you have for each other, you know, a lot of that time is going to go to the children. Now. And right now, being 28 years old with no kids, she don't know about that, but she will. <clears throat> Big shows me how much he appreciates me by occasionally washing up his own plate after breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm laughing because I'm just laughing because you know that lets me know that dude does nothing around the house. And they probably stay in the apartment, some kind of loft or something. She said, shows me how much he appreciates me by occasionally washing up his own plate after breakfast. This bra sounds fake. This is like seriously. She sounds fake, like she's doing this for the ground because she wants everybody to think the whole relationship is so great and everything. It sounds like she plotting on his brother. I'm just playing, y'all. Grandma. Some say he also brings me home flowers, chocolates, and teddies, and says thank you for making the house at home. On special occasions, he'll spoil me with designer bags and shoes. Notice she did not say he brings her all that stuff and says thank you and I love you for making the house a home. Again, five years from now, I want to see how. Although Summer is responsible for running their household, she says Big never makes a comment if she's a little behind on the laundry or cleaning. Man, this is like a freaking soap, like a made-for-TV lifetime movie. This is crazy. Without a full-time job of her own, Summer explained how she has to ask Bigs for money every time she wants to buy a new outfit or needs to pay a parking ticket. Who the hell forgot a car? Oh... Uh, Shoot, even when we're with money, still ask a man for money. So that ain't nothing. He looks at the all now, 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 now. Check this out. He looks after all of what I call the manly stuff, including the mortgage, bills, and petrol, and I take care of him. She added, "He's like my son sometimes." When I read that, I say, "This is a woman who." No matter what you do, she has to have a little bit of some kind of feeling of control or empowerment. Because to say that, <coughs> excuse me, you got a man who's probably making millions, or you know, high earned, high value man making a lot of money, paying your bills, everything that's needed in the house, man, 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 man is. Provided when you, no matter what you need, monetarily, he makes it, he comes, he y'all do things together, y'all spend time with each other. But like I say, he's doing what a man is supposed to do, and you say he's like my son sometimes. How is that? She sounds like one of these women who eventually is gonna have uh what do you call it? A husband. A husband. A, a, a husband, son, a son, husband. She's gonna be older, gonna be a cat lady, gonna be single, single mother. Son gonna be in his teens, twenties, and she's not even going. And he's not even going to. Uh, I mean, and she's not going to let him go. And she's going, you know, she's gonna have a problem with anybody he dates, and she's gonna treat him like her man like the man that she broke up with, but the man she didn't want was gonna raise him to be that same person. That little line there disturbs me to a degree. He said, as her next ambition is to become a mother, someone says her decision not to work makes sense for her and Biggs. The reality star previously dated Love Island co-star Rebecca Gormley before the duo announced her split in August 
2021. So he's been on a reality TV show. So yeah, he's making a little money. Breakup became breakup. So yeah, this does sound. It, it, this does sound like it's made the TV movie. The more I read this, the, this does sound like some, you know, trying to impress for the gram or what have you, getting likes, getting getting comments or whatever. The breakup came just months after Biggs told how he definitely wanted to marry his Love Island girlfriend. Talking to Mel online in September 2020, Biggs said he's more than happy to walk down the aisle with the brunette beauty, but he wanted her to be the one to pop the question. He explained, I'm waiting for Rebecca to ask me to marry her. I'm waiting for the rings. She, she got down on one knee yesterday as a joke. She joked. You'll be waiting for a long time because I'm not getting down on one knee. And they subsequently, I guess, broke up after that. But anyway, like I said, I wanted to bring y'all that story because it was interesting. You know, I just, it just seems kind of weird, but the way it looked, the way, the, the way the story, what I get from the story is this. Got a girl's 28 years old, afraid to get older. Uh, Baja said, don't want to be alone, whatever. She, I said, saw this guy's, uh, what is he? I can say he a, 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 a reality TV star. Got his own. You know, he I guess he puts together houses. You know, social media be you know on social media makes a lot of money. And she see a money grab. I mean, I can't knock that because that's what that's what women want. Women want to be kept, no matter what they tell you. She did what I feel a lot of women should do. You go after what you want. There's a lot of women who say they won't, you know, high value men or what have you. And, but don't go in the circles. Don't want to be thought of as thirsty because at home, they're going to talk about, girl, you thirsty, bro. You know, you trying to chase out no, this male chasing out no man. Man chasing out you while you sitting <clears throat> at home watching, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you're watching these, uh, these reality shows or these, uh, or, you know, these, or these Tyler Perry series. Like some man's gonna pop out the screen and come and holler at you, or he's gonna be at Walmart when you go there, or whatever. Uh, no, that's not how life works. The, the way it works is just like you can go to the club, and you can go to clubs, and you meet some old no count dudes, and you get mad and say, Where are all the good men at? Well, I mean, if you're going to a club, you know, you know, chances are that you are. Uh, not going to meet a good person. But it's like, I wouldn't take this story as a, you know, to say, do what she did and go try to find somebody on Instagram. But hey, if that's what you want, you know, so a lot of these girls do, they go on, you know, social media posts and try to find, you know, men. But now they're looking for now, most of our sisters, for some reason, the, the, one, the ones that are being promoted, they're going out there look, looking for like rappers, thugs, you know, people, dudes who are like, detrimental to the community, detri detrimental to the community, this girl went out and found, social media wise, found the best of your bunch. You know, she got a guy, like I said, he, I mean, but it seemed like he died like the day the snow, you know, the snow bunny, so maybe he got a type. So I'm sure there's gonna be something said about that, but again, Sometimes you got to, number one, look for what you want, fight for what you want, and sometimes you have to change people's minds. There are many guys in history who are with women, who were with women, and when, if you, when, you, when, when you talk to the woman, they'll sit there and tell you that when they first met the guy, they did not find him attractive at all. That brother had to work to change her mind in order for them to date, marry, have kids, have a family or whatever. He had to do something to change her mind. Women, there is nothing wrong with you going out trying to make a guy change his mind. He may feel that sisters act a certain way, have a certain attitude, that's fine, but if you don't have, but if you're not the person that he's running from, then you got the ability to go and show him something different. 
like I say, our young ladies will go out here and try to find somebody, like I say, who's rapping, selling drugs, or whatever the case, on YouTube, social media, on Instagram, or whatever. But how many of y'all trying to go out to the square like this dude here? I mean, he's still popular. He's still famous. But something she did made him say, hey, let's move in together and I will take care of you forever. forever. So it seemed like, you know, he could be a guy who could be a real easy simp. He's a real, he could be a real easy mark. So, but, you know, women would be like, ah, he's too nice and uh, he's not hard enough or street enough. I can't deal with no man like that. Then you wonder why you get what you get. And then you wonder why after so many years, things don't change for you and and you can't move past, you know, well, let's just say the saying goes, the water seeks its own level. But like I was saying, this could not, maybe not be the, the route that you take, but this is a, I believe this could be a blueprint for a lot of women in this day and age. Because they're not a lot of guys, I ain't gonna say they're not a lot of guys, but the pool is low. The older you get, the pool is low on finding a man of value. And I'm not just saying a six-figure man. I mean a guy, you know, from here, from the inside out, a man of value, trying to find somebody that's going to uh, know how to treat you. No, I have to, forget that. A, a guy that knows how to be a man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And period. I'm not going to say he needs to know how to treat you because sometimes you don't even know how you need to be treated. You think you know how you need to be treated by, you know, uh, examples that you've seen in your life, which were probably not the greatest examples. You know, uh, some other people's relationship that you may have seen, you may not know, you probably don't know what's what goes on behind closed doors at their house. So, it's a, <clears throat> it's a lot to it. It's a lot more to it than just seeing somebody walking down the street holding hands or whatever, or walk, you know, or somebody taking you to a store and buying, you know, uh, you know, uh, designer bags or something. Because I think in one interview, that was what she said. She said he bought her designer bags, you know, whatever she wants and stuff like that. I mean, she feels she's living a life. <clears throat> and that's what she's doing. And who knows what her motive is. But like I said, this is like the blueprint that I would think some females should follow. Go out there, put yourself in the circles that you want to be in. If you're finding... Like I, was, like I was saying, alluded to, alluded to earlier, if you're finding men who are, like I said, detrimental to society, like I say, uh, street thugs, or, you know, so like I say, rap people, or, you know what I'm saying, gangster rappers, or athletes, no, I ain't gonna say, I, I ain't wrong with athletes, but you know, you're finding guys who are just not being productive members of society. Don't get mad at the guys that you're finding. Because again, you're, where you're at, you're putting because you're you're in you're putting yourself in a position to be around these people. If you go to clubs and all of them are womanizers, and you know you say, "Man, I saw him take her home last week and take her that girl home two weeks ago and that girl home four weeks ago." Man, ain't no good men around here. Well, look where you at. Look where you at. Yes, you can go to church, go to the mosque find you a decent man. Yo, oh, yes, you can go to cop, go back to school. I'm sure there are a lot of decent brothers in colleges trying to do something. I believe you need to start there. You, you can start there too. Uh, you know, get your own little money, you know, some little degree or what have you and apply for jobs, you know, in like, you know, in, in office buildings, you know, not nursing homes, which I'm not knocking nursing home because I've moonlighted there a few times, you know, for a little extra money or whatever, but I can do that because, you know, my career, uh, you know, nursing homes, fast food places, when you work at them places, you're only going, you're mainly only going to find somebody who's on that level, especially if they're a little older. Now, if they're younger, then they might just got the job because it helped them pay, pay for school, and that's fine. You roll with that, but going to places where these people 
work here. I ain't trying to do nothing more, I'm trying to do nothing less. They're content and you want more out of life. Like I say, you need to put yourself in the circles of the people that you want to meet. That's what she did. And so now, what is she doing? She's a stay-at-home girlfriend, saying that eventually she wants to be a husband, I mean, a wife with kids, and she enjoys spending her day cooking meals and cleaning, which will change once they have kids. But anyway, let me get out of here. I can ramble, for, you know what I'm saying, on this forever. I just kind of want to read this and give y'all, you know, give especially y'all youngins, uh, teach y'all a little something. Uh, about this story because I don't want people to look at this and you know and fantasize about this is how this is like you know reality and this is how you do it again this is a blueprint but think about it is it what you really want if it is go get it but anyway that's all I gotta say about this story tell me what you think leave your comments below and then share it with the world with that being said I'll leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other